Hey everybody, this is Tambiota coming at you with another third party Transformers review. This time I have Fans Project CA12 Last Chance from the Fans Project Causality Crossfire line. And on the front, you can see Last Chance through the window in his robot mode with a picture of him. Alright, and on the side, we have a picture of Last Chance in robot mode. And then on the back, we have uh, some action poses of him in robot mode and then a picture of him in his vehicle mode then um, some close-up detailed, detailed shots of the front uh, of his legs and then showing that you can actually attach his gun to his back he can carry it uh, across the back across the I guess you could say the small of his back and then um, on this side we have a cartoon drawing of the picture that's on the other side of the box and on the bottom we have our standard warning labels and stuff and then on the top we have um, the same drawing of him that's uh, kind of on the front right here alright let's get this guy open and check him out and here's last chance out of the box and in his vehicle mode and some of you Transformer fans may recognize him as G1 Dead End uh, from the Combaticon Combiner set. Along with the figure inside the box, you also get a kind of bio card with a picture of him on the front and then his bio on the back. And then you also get a nice set of colored instructions. Um, the front side tells you how to transform him from robot mode to to his car mode and then on the back from his car mode to his robot mode um, and then also he comes with uh, his gun and his gun can be stored under his um, car mode so to install that what you're going to need to do is take the gun and split it apart and it just tabs from here to here so that's all you need to do to put that back together um, but take those two pieces you're going to flip the car over and on the underside there are two little kind of tabs one right here and one right here and this is where you're going to put your, your guns at so you just flip it this way and we're going to take this piece right here and it's going to go right there like that and then this piece right here is gonna go right there just like that and he does um oh, oh there maybe I got a little better uh, there he goes uh, I just had to push in this just a little bit and um, he gave me some clearance so he'll actually roll now so that's good I do have problems with this part separating right here and not wanting to stay together. Just this, just this little part right here. But, um, yeah, just this part right here. So, um, but let's take a look at his car mode and give you a 360 degree view of him. And he does have his, um, his distinguishing G1 kind of stripe running down um, the driver's side of the car and uh, he has nicely painted uh, tail lights um, doesn't have any headlights painted but uh, that's fine with me there's not really any uh, any spot for that right here so don't really care I think he looks nice just the way he is but um, wheels turn fairly well but um, to go ahead and transform them what we need to do is take these gun pieces off and we'll put those off to the side and then there are two kind of seams um, on the top there's this first seam and then there's a the second seam uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to split the car at this second seam right here um, this first seam is going to end up uh, 
becoming his feet right here. So this piece right here actually becomes his foot. So um, what you need to do is just kind of just kind of give it some pressure, and um, there's some tabs that you can probably see in here that connect those together. So that's just kind of what you're going to need to do, and then um, this it's going to hinge all right here. So oh, I forgot a step. Um, it's probably why it's giving me a little bit of problems. But what you need to do is take um, this back bumper section with the spoiler and you need to kind of pry it back and it's gonna um, just kind of take it and just it's gonna slide right here you can kind of see where it's already separating just kind of move it up and all right, so that's the first step, and then come over here, and just kind of pry that apart, and it's gonna it's gonna rotate at the knees right here. So just go ahead and rotate that all the way, and then next, we'll just raise that, raise those bumpers up to his knees right there, just to have a place for it, and we'll go ahead and split the legs, and then. This part right here, which becomes the foot, and we'll just detach that and detach that, and then take these wheels, and these wheels, um, they're tabbed in right here, and you'll just fold that down and fold it down on this side, and then um, for his heels, there's a little notch right there, and you can just put your thumbnail in there and just kind of pull that out, and it becomes a, a heel support for him. So, just flip that out. Okay. Alright, and so, for the hands, what we're going to need to do is, um, you can see it's already kind of splitting right now. There's a seam right here that runs all the way down here and down onto the door right here. And then... Um, right here and all the way down to here and what we're going to need to do is just take that seam and just kind of split those pieces apart and then you can take that and just kind of pry that open a little bit like that and then what we're going to need to do is take and these fists are all kind of like accordion um, the hands are all kind of accordioned into this shape right here so you have a, a kind of a, a joint right here on where his wrist would be then his elbow and then the shoulder so we're going to need to take that and kind of straighten that out so we're going to straighten that out right there and then as we go so we straighten this out right here We'll flip this up like that, and then and then this gets moved down to here. So I'm trying to do that a little better on this side. Um, and all this stuff does tab into um, this little part right here. There's a little notch and a, a little hole right there that that all tabs into, and. how all this stuff kind of folds out and then as you fold this shoulder out you're gonna fold uh, this fender out uh, also kind of at the same time so it's gonna be kind of it's gonna kind of look like this so like that kind of action right there um, then we'll rotate down the arms so that's like that, and then um, we're going to rotate at this top uh, bicep cut right here so that um, the elbow joint is facing the right way, and then we're going to rotate these hands around so that the thumb is facing forward. And do that on this side, and then rotate that hand right there. Um, I must say, like looking at this, um, 
there's a lot of detail underneath this stuff that's get, that gets hidden. Um, I'm really impressed with that. So uh, the next step, what we'll do is take um, the head, which is um, compressed down into the chest. We're going to take that, and there's like um, on the back of the head, there's some little notches, so you can use that with your finger and kind of grab this stuff so that you can pry this head up. Um, the head does kind of move around a little bit. Let me see if I can make sure that I'm getting this out of the way. Okay. Right. And just go like that and kind of flick it. And once you get it up enough, then you can grab it with your fingers. There it goes. And then it pulls all the way up and then you'll rotate the head around and once you get it up high enough then you can take this chest piece right here this part that's right here uh, attached to the arms and it's also attached to this um, to the front windshield of the car and you'll just push that back all that stuff gets pushed back and then that um, when you push that back it locks the head up so that the head can't um, fall down anymore or the head won't go down anymore and then now you're going to take this um, front part of the hood and there's two joints there's a joint there and a joint there and you're just going to fold that over the head and then um, there's two little slots here and there's uh, two little notches here and just kind of push those together they don't, they don't really lock together but um, just a little bit of friction will put that in so alright now we're going to take the gun and combine that together and to make sure that it's going the right way there is a, a little bevel right here um, it goes straight and then it bevels under and you're going to see that also in the gun right here um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it goes straight and then it bevels out. So that's how you're going to put that together. And there you have his gun, and it just fits right in his hand like that. Or if you also want to um, have it on his back, what you can do is turn him around, and there's this little, this little tab right there, and that's going to tab into right there. Or you can tab it into there, just depending on how you want it. You can have it way out here, or you can have it way back here. So, like that. And as for his articulation, starting at the head, uh, he has a ball joint that has, uh, it's a little tight, but he does have uh, a lot of range of motion in there. Then he has um, a ball joint on his shoulder, and then he also has a hinge up here. So the ball joint will go out to about here uh, with that hinge straight, and then he'll go the rest of the way with that hinge. Um, he does have a, a bicep cut up at the top of his bicep. I'll take that gun and put that off to the side. Then he has uh, two elbow joints. Uh, one at the top of the elbow, one at the bottom of the elbow. Um, then he also has a wrist swivel right here. Um, he does, if you detach that right there, he has um, a waist swivel. And then he has a ball joint on his legs, but... Um, there is a cut in that in that joint at the top of his legs that will allow them to uh, extend all the way out. Then there's there's a thigh cut right here it allows you to uh, turn his foot or turn his leg. Then he has a hinge right here at his knee, which you can go all the way up to there. Then. Um, for his legs, or for his feet, he has uh, a ball joint which gives it a um, nice range of motion. 
Um, so you can do all kinds of uh, you can give them all kinds of range of motion. Then um, what you can also do is um, that ball joint is hinged right here on this part. So if you want to give them more of a pronounced foot, uh, you can bring that out. Um, out like that, and then. his gun back in his hand and with this guy he um, he only comes with instructions that show how to transform him to and from uh, car mode from robot mode stuff like that it doesn't have instructions for his limb mode so I'm not really gonna guess on how that goes and I don't have the pieces and I don't have pieces to make fists or feet or anything like that I assume all that stuff is going to come with uh, what will be Motor Master. And um, whenever that piece comes out, then I'll go ahead and show off him. And then I'll make another video to show off um, the completed uh, transformation, like how you transform each piece into a limb. Um, and then how all of those go together to make their combined mode. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and include my review of, of Fans Project CA12 Last Chance. This has been Tambiota, and I'll see you next time.